Today we're gonna to go try a new spot in District 1 with a very special guest, but I'm a little bit late, we gotta move now. So today we're having lunch with Mr. Gao. Uh oh, we got a bumpy road right here. This part of the road is always a little bumpy and dusty. Let's get through this quick. Uh oh, what are you doing, dude? Just a U-turn, it's no big deal. Uh, so today we're having lunch with Mr. Gao, AKA Chef Gao from uh, California. And also very popular on Instagram as well. So I did have the pleasure of meeting him last night at a restaurant called Soul Kitchen. He invited me out there. He was a super awesome guy, it was great to meet him. We had an awesome night. Not only is he a food influencer or chef influencer online, but he's legit a real chef and a real restaurateur. So I have major, major respect for points for him. Anyone who is actually making money in restaurants, I I just have tremendous respect for it. It's so hard to do it. And to be doing it while selling Vietnamese food in America is not an easy task. So, so I really liked him when I met him. Just his energy is great. But when I found out more of his story, I'm super impressed. So I'm really happy to share another meal with him before he goes back to uh, America. So we were talking the other night about going to one of my favorite eel noodle soup spots in District 7, which is damn delicious. Although today his schedule is really tight so he can't make it out there. So I'm going to meet him in District 1 at a different eel spot that his friend recommended. So this spot is going to be new to me. We'll try this one together. Chị ơi, cho em một uh, nước, nước cắp cà rốt và cam không đường. Yeah, đúng rồi. So he's got a little bit of an issue. He's getting kicked out of his hotel. He can't leave his luggage there until 5.30. So we pushed back our meeting in 30 minutes. So I got some time to get a drink. Right now, just sitting at a nice intersection in D1. This wholesale market that sells all kinds of, I guess, hardware equipment, you would say. They sell like clothing for every sort of job. If you're a construction worker or a chef, and they sell a lot of uh, old like veteran stuff, like military stuff too. It's kind of a cool market. I think we got a block line guy walking across the street with a whistle. That's pretty intense, man. Come on. So Gal has two different restaurant concepts that he works with. One is called Benche, which is like your local everyday Vietnamese restaurant just done to a nice level, to a high level. And the other restaurant is called Gao, which is a more upscale, more fine dining style of Vietnamese restaurant. And there he became popular for a dish called Fuzzilla, which is just like a giant bowl of pho with a lobster inside of it and some short ribs and just a ridiculous bowl. I think it's like a hundred bucks, 120 bucks for a bowl. It was pretty cool. And now he says that people are flying all over the world to come eat that Fozilla. It's a good lesson for any young chef or young cook who wants to open a business. It's always good to have a signature. Even if you don't want to do it, even if you don't like that idea, not only have a signature, but also have something that is Instagram worthy. That kind of shit is important. If you want to build a successful business, these are things you have to think about, even if it doesn't feel right to you, you don't like it. Maybe when I was younger, I wouldn't have thought that same direction or not agree with that statement. But as I get older and I learn and I fail and I try, I realize that is the way to do it. So, so I have tremendous respect for him for building restaurants that are successful. So I'm really excited about the eel spot we're going to today because I don't exactly know what style it is. I think I know probably two eel soups in Vietnam I've tried so far. So I don't know if this is gonna be the same one I've tried before or if we have a whole new variation to try. I'm excited. All right, let's go. Bông mình nhỉ. Come on yet. For the record, 40,000 is a lot for a carrot and orange drink. Although it's a mixture of two things. Okay, that's always more. And we are in District 1. Okay, maybe that's the right price that they charge. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Well, you almost saw a near accident there. A very small one, but that's the thing. Even when things are close on a motorbike, usually on a motorbike, you can kind of wiggle your way out of most things. Probably this 176 is down here. Yeah, mean loon right there. Okay. Here it is, Monday 176. Come on. Em gặp bạn, anh sẽ cho 5 phút. I saved up the table. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hey, start for the light. How you doing, Jimmy, man? Good to see you. What's up, Tin? How you doing? I'm ready for another day here. <laughs> this is like the smallest restaurant with the biggest menu. They have a lot of stuff. I cho bún, cho bún to. Minh luôn yon. You want crispy? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. You haven't had this yet, right? No, I haven't. You haven't had it. I've never had this. Before. Oh, it's so good. I'm this spot. I haven't tried, so usually, but I love. Uh, do they? You do the one with the lube or just with the crab too? Usually not crab. Oh, okay. The place I go, all they have is eel, eel. and then you get fried and the soft one if you want to mix it, oh, or you okay. just get fried. I never see this with the crab before. But I think she, she's doing the like mean sao. Oh, mean sao. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's cool. 
cho em với anh này làm một tô được không? Được, được. được. <cười> để học nghề mốt về mở tiệm kế cô. Nó mở tiệm kế cô để à, kế bên. Dành mối. Dành mối. Dành mối. <cười> Have two kinds, the crispy one and the soft one. Right. But then uh, she ran, almost ran out. So of the soft? Huh? We're running out of the soft, yeah. yeah. Well, that's good, we'll kill her portions. Yeah. That's good, she doesn't have any at the end. Yo. I can't believe she's been here 36 years. 36 years. That's crazy. I like the ladle too, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Huh? Love it. I love that job. Oh, he's serving yeah, too, yeah, you know how to do that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, I gotta learn from the Vietnamese chef. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are making our own. Nam Roy. Oh, yeah. Tem Luan, Tem Luan. Con thích Luan nhiều. As many onion you want, how much onion you want? For I like me, that. I love a lot. Oh, yeah, I like that. I love extra, extra onion. <laughs> you want a little extra? Yeah, sure. Her broth looks different. Her broth is much clearer. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I think we need a lobster in here, right? A lobster. A lobster. Get hold. Get oh, you know it. Samroy. Okay, perfect. Look. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We got salad, too. Oh, that looks good. Bad ass. Yeah, we got freaking salad. Bad this ass. Good. That look good, too. Yeah. yeah. This crab. Crab inside. Crab and eel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, so this one. Mean sao. Yeah. Mean sao. Mean sao cool doing. Mean sao cool. They don't even stir fry. They just chone and then mix. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's eat it? Yeah, baby. Let's eat it. I try so hard to remember the name of this. Chi chung, I think. Chi chung. No, not tung No, not tung No, like the northern style. The normal tung it's okay. It's just ketchup. But the one in the north where it's like really funky, I like that so much. It's good. The broth is solid. The broth is like very simple but flavorful. Because this one has like bumbal veg. And the one I know is, is a very different style. So this is going to be new for both of us. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I like the broth. Yeah, very simple. Very clean, very yeah. clear. Yeah, this is a very different style to what I know. It's cool, something new. It is Saigon style. Saigon style. Yeah. Maybe with the vegetable, yeah, maybe Saigon style. I can yeah. see that. How did you find this spot? Really long time ago. A long time ago. It's my favorite spot, yeah. I just like the, the crispy, crunchy part. Yeah. Is it the soup for a little longer now? Yeah. It's still crispy? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I always like this because it's like you're eating a bowl of cereal and the eel is like getting softer in the milk. You got to get it at the right time and get yeah. this eel perfect. I like the broth a lot. Very simple, very good. Yeah, I like it. Even the stir fry is like, it's not oily at all because it's not really stir fry. So it's very light, easy to eat. It's definitely a good hangover dish. When I'm in Saigon, when I eat breakfast, yeah. I eat two things. Yeah. A soup and a dry. Always? So like double, double breakfast. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> Do you always double it up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to take so, advantage. So this is perfect. This is one like... That's pretty warm right there. That's a good heat. You got a good heat palette. I do that. It's nice, right? Super light. Yeah, super light. That's why I give a little spicy kick to it. Yeah. Give it like... I'm proud, like last year I beat my wife in heat now, now I eat spicier than her. Next time you come back, I'll try to beat you. Not yet, not yet. Oh, I'm not there yet, I know that. It's been here for like 10, 15 minutes? Ten, at least 10 minutes, yeah. It's still crispy, not Yeah. It's still crispy, that's the secret. Where are you thinking about for bun mi? Eat bun mi, go get coffee, and I'm out. Yeah, your, your time is getting there, you're getting close. You're getting a little tight. I'll join you for sure, yeah, yeah. Well, then they, you gotta go to... I'm fucking paying. Okay. No, 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 no,
to film content or anything. He's eating more because he wants to eat more. He's leaving tonight in like two hours. He says he hasn't had a bun me on this trip and he wants a bun me. All right, dude, we'll go get a bun me. So I'm pumped. All right, we're in Volvanki. I think this is it. Boom. God damn, they got here fast, dude. Do you you don't get nervous at all? <laughs> no. Never. How about oh, before when you just start? Only when I'm on camera. Huh? Oh, when you're on camera. <laughs> Gal always likes to like get behind the vendor and make his own dish. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Pretty brave. But he always asks everybody. So they're negotiating right now. So this is a new bun mi spot I've never been to called uh, Salmon Bun Mi in District Three, right at the edge of District One, and they have a. Uh, this wild honey here. I always love the toasting drawer, that's so cool. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm opening a bun me shop. I'm gonna call it bun me Chad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, be it Chad bun me. <laughs> I'm getting my training in. Okay. We're from learning from the master as okay. well right here. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she cut the chili. I like oh, yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah. a better slice. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Consistent then. I didn't even know you can get it on sandwich bread. Oh, that's pretty cool. I know. Yeah, I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know it was a thing. You do the bun me on the sandwich. Oh yeah, on bun me sandwich. Yeah. Can you get that everywhere or just here? Pretty much everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna try that next time. The secret local tip right now. I just secret found out. Local tip. Ten years later, I finally learned. See how uh, fluffy? How, yeah, fluffy inside. Yeah. That's the best thing about the bun me. Well, now I know bun me sandwich might be the way to go here. Yeah. Now I already know you're gonna put more pate than that. Uh, I got that. <laughs> right, so the gal is gonna do this bun me inside <laughs> of with chat. Got the. Oh, so. Oh shit! Look at this bun me. Well, look at bro. I made thousands bro, bro. before, dude. I'll let you go bit, first bit. I'm gonna show you how to bite one. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't even say you had a bite piece. <laughs> that's right. Oh, you're spread all over. I put it on one side. Uh, no, she, this one yeah, she put in the that's middle. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to get my job at Ben Jay and Gal. I gotta get ready. <laughs> look how pretty it is. Look at this one. I got the skin too. Oh, you I got the skin. Too. Yeah, <laughs> see, I, was, I was patient. Oh, I waited. Let me help you out. Look at this skin in there, Thank you, you're so beautiful. Okay, that looks pretty damn good. good. I'm pretty happy about it. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I can't All right. Shout out to Bunmi Salmon. So, Bunmi Salmon, right? Make your own Bunmi. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I just kidding. You can't do that if you come. This is very special. Right, <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is a good Bunmi spot. So, yeah. I love how thin everything is. Yeah. Everything's super thin. Yeah, the bread is really good. so much flavor though. I'm spoiled. I always get good bread here. The meat is really good. Everything's sliced so thin. The way it's laid out, whoever made this did a really good job. Oh, man. <laughs> a good way to end your trip. Whoa. Bun mi salmon. It's just a really simple classic bun mi, but done really well. And I love how thin the uh, all the meat and the chili is cut here. I would definitely come back. Kind of got caught in the rain a little bit. That was pretty awesome time. And Gal, aka V, is a pretty darn cool guy. Super happy to meet him, super happy to hang out with him today. Having this job as a content creator or whatever. It's fun, it's hard, but it's really cool some of the people you get to meet. And he's a really cool guy and really impressed by the business that he has built for himself and for his family. If you're in America, you're in California, check out Gal, check out Ben Trey. I'm definitely gonna check him out when I get back to the States. Really excited to see what he's built over there. If you want me to take you around to Eat Saigon, check out checkhumanup.com. I think that's it. Have a great day. See you guys later.